Good evening. Um, I just wanted to ask a question related to the Christian who asked a question before. And you mentioned that uh, the soldiers stabbed Jesus and he was still alive before he was buried. My question is, did Jesus actually go to the cross or was he saved from ever having any of the pain? Sister, what's your name, sister? My name is Rachel. Sister has a question that when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was stabbed by the soldiers, she's asking, did Jesus, peace be upon him, actually go to the cross? And was he in pain or was he safe from going to the cross? Now, both these incidences, details differ as per the Quran and the Bible. I am a student of comparative religion. I know both the versions. As per the Quran, the Quran gives the reply in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157. It says that the Jews said in boast that we killed Jesus, the son of Mary. But the Quran says, wa ma wa ma They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. Walakin shubbi alam. It was only made to appear so. Anyone who differs is full of doubt. Illa the bazan with only conjectures to follow. Wama katulu yakina for a surety they killed him not. So according to the Quran, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 157, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, he was not killed, it was made to appear so. How it happened, we are least bothered about the details. The next verse says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 158. Allah raised him up alive unto himself. In the Bible now, for the Muslims, Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified. We are satisfied. It was made to appear so. How it happened? There are many hypotheses. Maybe somebody was replaced in his place, or maybe it may, we are least bothered. Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified, we are satisfied, we are not bothered to know the details. If you read the Bible, if you read the story, if you read the Gospels, we come to know that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the Jews, they alleged that he did blasphemy. If you read the Gospel of John chapter number 10, verse number 31, 32, when he says, I and my father are one. So they think that he claimed divinity. So they say that he being a man, you claim divinity. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says in the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 32, that isn't it mentioned in your scripture that ye are gods? The person who speaks the word of God are called as gods. And the law is not broken. So here they mistook that he claimed divinity. They pick up stones to stone him. So then he says, many of good works have I done. For which of the good works do you stone me? So based on this, there's a trial in Pontius Pilate. And then he's put on the cross. And on, at that time, the Sabbath starts on Saturday for the Jews. It was in their philosophy that a person cannot be crucified on a Saturday which starts on Friday night. So because he was crucified on Friday, put on the cross on Friday afternoon, he was taken down from the cross early because a person cannot be crucified on Saturday. So because they take him out early, if I agree with the narration of the Bible, I assume that even if he was put on the cross, he did not die. That's the reason the soldiers, they pierce, and there you see blood coming out. And then in a hurry, they put him in the sepulcher. Now when they put him in the sepulcher, he is there in the sepulcher on Saturday full day, Sunday morning, the stone is rolled out. When Mary Magdalene comes in front of the sepulcher, she sees that the stone is rolled out. So who moved the stone is the question. So based on the narration of the Bible, even if I agree, hypothetically what the Bible says is correct, nowhere does it say in this narration that he died. So what we come to know from this narration, if he has to fulfill the sign of Jonah, that as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be alive. If he's dead, that means Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38, he says, and he gives a prophecy, that as Jonah was, so shall the Son of Man be. If Jonah was alive, he has to be alive. So what I assume in my reading as a student, after doing research, I don't believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied. So to fulfill his prophecy, I have to believe he was alive. He was put on the cross, but he did not die. If you read the dictionary, crucifixion, 
C R U C I F I X I O N means to fix a person on the cross and he dies on the cross. There is no word in the dictionary which says if you put a person on the cross and he does not die, what is it called? So new word we have to coin is crucifixion. C R U C I F I C T I O N. It's a fiction, it's a story. He's put on the cross but does not die. So therefore I believe that if I agree with the Bible, it is correct, and Jesus did not tell a lie, peace be upon him, it was a crucifixion. F-I-C-T-I-O-N. It was not fiction, F-I-X-I-O-N. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. My name is Paul. I live here, and I'm a manager. I have about three parts I want to ask you. Um, I've been storing it up for three hours. The first one is there are two types of death. There's a spiritual death and there's a physical death. And a brother was asking about uh, if you leave Islam, um, you should be put to death for this. 